Tom DeLonge's eagerly anticipated film, Monsters of California has finally arrived, and a lot of people were counting down the days for this release. It's a brash sci-fi comedy tailor-made for viewers who grew up loving late-night monster movies. But there's a bigger story at play here tied to DeLong's involvement in the UFO disclosure movement. Monsters of California also serves as an Easter egg factory. Let's get into Monsters of California, what does and doesn't work, and why this film sparked so much excitement in the UFO community. Years ago, Dallas Edwards' father went missing under mysterious circumstances, and the disappearance has haunted him ever since. And now, Dallas has an obsession with the unexplained, and he spends his nights investigating paranormal hotspots, chasing things that go bump in the night. It turns out the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Dallas's father was part of a secret military program investigating UFOs and other supernatural phenomena. When Dallas discovers some of his dad's classified research, it brings him closer to solving the UFO mystery and uncovering his father's tragic fate. Monsters of California is a decent directorial debut for DeLong, who also co-wrote the film. It's a fun, raunchy comedy best enjoyed in a room full of friends. While the movie works more often than it doesn't, there are a few stumbling blocks. The film caters to fans of campy horror movies and sci-fi B-movies. It's cheekily self-aware, so even though there are genuine horror and thriller elements, it often breaks the tension with some flippant humor. The frights in this film aren't very frightening, and intentionally so. DeLong wants to send you away feeling good, not freaked out. The storyline draws from many elements of UFO lore like crash retrievals, ancient alien theory, government cover-ups, and those creepy, missing 411-style disappearances in the woods. Their inclusion isn't just there to please people obsessed with the topic. These elements are so ingrained in pop culture that the film works even if you don't know Lou Elizondo from Lou Albano. Monsters of California is an outrageous buddy comedy and a conspiracy thriller with some classic monster movie elements thrown into the mix. Think of it like a mashup of Superbad and Ghostbusters and The X-Files and you'll start to get the picture. That sounds like a winning formula, in theory. However, the film struggles to seamlessly blend these influences. I love the epic story Monsters of California strives to tell, but too often it feels like the film is just going through the motions. It's so concerned with the bigger picture that it struggles with the crucial little moments that make you fall in love with the characters. In a great buddy comedy, the characters are so compelling you enjoy spending time with them and just being in their world. You would have fun watching them sit around a table and talk smack for 90 minutes. But most of the characters in this film fail to make an impression. They feel like stock characters I've seen in a thousand other genre flicks, and I stopped thinking about them as soon as the movie ended. That means the difference between a one and done viewing and returning to this film again and again over the years. Here's where things get interesting. DeLong is one of the main reasons there's been so much UFO or UAP coverage in the mainstream news in recent years. He firmly believes in the presence of non-human intelligence on Earth, and his advocacy for disclosure has played a significant role in destigmatizing the subject. He spent the past decade working with politicians, military officials, and scientific researchers to increase public awareness about UFOs. And during interviews, he occasionally drops disclosure bombshells, revealing reality-shattering info he's learned from insiders. Opinions about him vary wildly. Many think he's full of crap, some think he's an unwitting government pawn, while others hang on his every word. Regardless of your stance, his inner circle consists of credible people at the forefront of UFO research. DeLong has sprinkled hints and clues about what he knows into his Secret Machines book series, and now Monsters of California is another vehicle to share info with the public. The film exists to expand the cultural awareness of UFOs, and if you're someone who watches every DeLong interview and read Secret Machines, it reinforces what you've already learned. But for general audiences, it's a whole different story. Monsters of California asks them to reconsider their thoughts about UFOs, religion, and humanity's place in the universe. I won't spoil all the reveals, but DeLong really goes for it, challenging humanity's understanding of major religions and tying the UFO phenomenon to mystical beings like angels and jinns. And I appreciate how the film exists to challenge the mainstream belief that UFOs must be extraterrestrial visitors. In the end, Monsters of California offers a lot to like, but little to love. It delivers an eerie and irreverent adventure into the world of UFOs, monsters, and government spooks. Is it an instant classic? No. 
but it scratches a particular itch, delivering precisely the type of film people seek out in the run-up to Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the movie in the comments below, and please let me know what movies would you like to see me review on UFO Movie Club. Thanks for watching.